I've been on a quest to turn my living room and kitchen in my condo into the ultimate creative tech hub. I've already shown you my M1 iMac Silver kitchen desk setup, so if you missed that video, I'll leave a little link at the top of the video for you to check out. But now we're gonna move to the other end of the condo. In today's video, I'm excited to share with you my M1 Mac Mini productivity desk setup. The star of the show is the M1 Mac Mini. I love the form factor. It's a sleek aluminum body that packs so much power. I have the base model that comes in at eight gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of SSD storage. This has been more than sufficient enough for me to produce and create all the videos you see here on the channel. And anytime I do need more storage, I have a Samsung T5 SSD that I use externally. To keep my Mac mini running as fast as possible, especially because I got the base model. Uh, I always make sure to install Clean My Mac X. It's a great all-in-one software that keeps your Mac running as good as new. So if you guys are interested, I'll leave a link in the description down below. My personal keyboard of choice is the Logitech MX Master Keys. I do have a full review on my channel, so I'll leave a link for you guys to check that out. But my short form opinion in this video is that the Logitech MX Keys is one of my favorite keyboards ever made. Key travel is perfect. The keys are spherically dished, so it's comfortable to press and they're very clicky. And I love the design of the keyboard itself because it really blends well with that space gray aluminum theme that kind of breeds through a lot of Apple products. The only downfall to this keyboard, and I almost don't even think it's the keyboard's fault, I think it has everything to do with the M1 Max, is that there are latency issues with Bluetooth. Sometimes when I'm typing, my keyboard actually just completely loses connection, and other times when I'm typing, it just doesn't feel as responsive as the Magic Keyboard that I use on my M1 Mac. This has been true for a lot of third-party accessories that I've used on my M1 MacBook Air, M1 Mac Mini, and the M1 iMac, so I don't really know whose fault it is, if it's the manufacturer or if it's Apple. Uh, my Yes, it has something to do with M1 Max and their Bluetooth connectivity. I think there's just something wrong with it in there. But then at the same time, maybe there isn't anything wrong because when I use Apple made accessories like their Magic Mouse and Magic Keyboard, it's flawless. And actually the next product I wanna talk about is the Magic Mouse. Although the Magic Mouse is incredibly unergonomic and the way you charge this thing is just comical, this is hands down the smoothest mice experience I've ever had on an M1 Mac, besides the Magic Trackpad, which I use on my M1 iMac. I used to daily drive the Logitech MX Master 3 mouse. I loved the form factor, I loved the design, I loved the integrations and all the little cool features you get with that mouse. But the problem was, was that there was just so much latency and Bluetooth issues, it became very frustrating to use. And even when I used the USB dongle that came with the device, there was still drop off issues, still lag issues, and it just, I don't know what the issue is because the Magic Mouse and the Magic Trackpad by Apple has never experienced any issues with connectivity to my M1 Max. You know, I can deal with connectivity drop off on a keyboard because it just reconnects within a second, I'm okay with that. That's why I still use the Logitech MX keys. But when it comes to the mouse, especially when I'm video editing, it is incredibly frustrating to have latency issues. It's almost like you cannot have that when you're trying to edit videos. It makes it too frustrating to do. I need a smooth mouse experience to tell my stories, and there's no better way to tell your creative story than with today's sponsor, Filmora X. Filmora X is all about simplifying the complex nature of video editing. You get access to professional tools such as key framing, color grading, and even auto reframing your videos to share them on other platforms like Instagram. My favorite tool is motion tracking actually. They made it incredibly easy and within minutes you can have motion tracked footage with text like the one you see right now. And the best part, Filmora X is very affordable. Their most popular plan, the perpetual plan, is only $69.99, a one-time fee, and you get access to Filmora X for life and all of its future updates. Download Filmora X by clicking the link down below in the description to start creating your videos right away. Moving on, my favorite part of my desk by far, like hands down, 
is the Divoom accessories that I have sitting right behind me actually, these animating things. So I have two accessories from them. The first being the Piksu Max. It's a 32 by 32 8 bit LED display. It can show all kinds of animations at really high quality thanks to the LED back panel. You can make custom animations or you can use the ones made by other people in the app that you download on your phone. It's Honestly, one of the coolest things ever. I also have their retro portable speaker known as D2. I believe it's pronounced D2, by the way. D2, ditto, sorry. <laughs> it's the same idea as the Pixie Max, but with a little bit of a twist. You get a bunch of animations, like you see here, that can change and, and revolve over time depending on the ones that you wanna use. And it also doubles as an incredible, an incredible speaker. Like it blew my mind how great this thing was. <laughs> As for my monitor, I'm using a 34 inch ultra wide from LG. It's fantastic. I just love how expansive the screen can get. There's just something about ultra wides, man. Like it just screams professional, like with the look and the design of it. I cannot tell you how much I love the way ultra wide monitors look. It's definitely one of those experiences that you have to try in person and just like sit in front of an ultra wide that's curved of all things to really get it and to really be sold on the idea of wanting one. It proves to be incredibly valuable. Depending on the kind of work that you do, having all of that expansive space all for one task or multiple tasks at the same time. I also have a Blue Yeti microphone for audio recordings. The build quality is fantastic and I have gone years recommending Blue Yeti microphones to anybody who wants to do any kind of amateur or professional work such as podcasting. As for my chair, which is kind of the one I'm sitting on right now, uh, it, it's nothing special. I got it from Ikea. If you actually are interested in checking out this cheap chair, I'll leave a link in the description down below for you to check it out. It's, it does the job, it, it's like, it's comfy. Uh, I definitely wanna upgrade the chair soon, but desk chairs are expensive, expensive, expensive. <laughs> and I just, I don't really have the extra funds right now to go get one. As for the thing that holds this entire setup together, which is my desk, I did get it from Ikea as well. My favorite part about the desk is the cable management features and the inclusion of drawers. You can route cables inside the desk to come out of the punched holes at the bottom of the desk. I have all of these cables route to an outlet that I have command taped behind the desk where nobody can actually see. So it kind of looks cleaner from an outsider's perspective. I'm gonna be honest, this desk is a little small. I expected it to be bigger when I bought it. So a bit disappointed, but Thankfully, this desk does have drawers where I can actually put other useful items such as my hard drive. So I keep all the hard drives inside this drawer and I have it route all the cables through the inside under the punch holes and connect it to my M1 Mac mini. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Make sure to drop a like and comment down below hashtag M1 Mac mini if you finish the video and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. We are on our road to 15,000 subscribers. You guys, I know I say this all the time, you have no idea how a like, comment, subscription goes such a long way in helping me grow this channel and helping me produce videos every week because I don't do this full time. Like I have another job that I gotta be at eight hours a day. Um, so every time you guys show support, uh, you really are helping me build out my dream here on YouTube. Uh, but anyways, I will catch all of you guys in the next video sometime later this week. Peace.